Look at that. It's spooky time. Hey, what's happening, guys? It's about Halloween time, so I figured we could put something together for Halloween, and we've got this little spooky kit here from a company called Circuit Pop. It's like we got a mummy sitting on a pumpkin. And it's got some blinking lights and some sounds, so this might be a fun little kit to put together. And they have these available, and they can ship them out. You can get one by Halloween and put it together. Ooh. Ooh. Surface mount. My nemesis. Not a lot of uh, parts here in the kit. We got a switch. Oh, we push button, a switch, a speaker, and a teeny tiny little IC along with a couple of teeny tiny capacitors. So, let's see if we can figure out what that uh, IC is. Or if it's a microcontroller. Now, I got in as close as I could with the OptiVisor, and it appears that uh, whatever it is, they don't want us to know because they have marked it off, you know, obliterated it. So we're not going to know what that IC is, but it, this, this uh, kit has two functions. It's called the Cackling Mummy. So when it's in standby, the t there are uh, two LEDs that will go through the eyes, and they kind of blink on and off. And then when you press the button, the mummy laughs. So I don't know of any, like, you know... Jelly Bean Logic chip that can do that, so it's obviously got to be some sort of a microcontroller. So, according to the cons the constructions, the instructions, we got to put that microcontroller on there, matching the dot to the dot. So there is our pad. I'm trying to figure out where that is, TMS. Okay. So there's our dot right there. Let me get some of these things out of the way. There aren't very many parts in this kit, which I think might make it a pretty decent kit for a first SMD project. There's just a couple in there that you have to get into, you know. Zoom in here. That might be a little too much. Don't want to focus that much. There we go. All right. Get the soldering iron. See if we can't tin those pads up. All right. First thing I'm going to do is use a little flux on there. That will help keep the solder in the pads on the on the pads and not uh, from going all over the place. A little solder on the tip of my iron there. Alrighty. This is literally just within the uh, the edge of my vision. The one pad doesn't seem to want to take any solder. Hmm. Try it again here. There we go. Whew, that was fun. All right, now we've got to get our IC on there. We've got to make sure we do it right. So, we've got to match up our dot with the dot. There. So we got a dot down there. And the dot on our IC is in the lower left. Okay. Whoops. I knocked it over. 
All right, I'm going to zoom out. You're not going to be able to see in as closely here, but... And I'm going to need the Optivisor for this one, probably. Ooh, buddy. Okay. I got that soldered down. Sorry I couldn't show you. I had to get in so close that there was really no other way for me to do it. Now we're going to get on to the, um, the capacitors. All right. So I've got the... Uh, Got the pads tinned. And I just got to get this placed so I can get a hold of this properly. Get her on there. Now I got one side down. What you want to do is kind of hold the other side when you solder it. So it doesn't stand up and do what's called tombstoning. Okay. I think that was the hard part out of the way. The other stuff shouldn't be so hard. All right, let's see what we have to do next. All right, let's get the push button on there next. Try and get it centered. Okay, whoops, sorry. Bumped the camera with my Optivisor. There we go. Now we have to do the battery cover. Where did I put that guy? Right here. Oh, that ah, dropped. All right, uh, let's tin up those pads for the battery cover. Remember the reason I put the flux down first is it helps to keep the solder flowing where you want it, which is just right in the pads. And you generally don't want to hold that with your hand because that's going to get real hot real fast. Oh, Dag nabbit. Had to bend right when I was taking it off. Alright, let's see if we can do this. Let that cool for a second. Okay. So now we have to move on to the LEDs. You can see they're surface mount pads, but they are through hole LEDs. So let's uh, let's tin up the pads. See what the instructions say to do next. All right, so we have to do our LEDs next, and you can see they tell us to bend them at 90 degrees, long leg positive. And you can see we have the positive mark there on the board. So we got our long leg positive. We're going to bend these at 90 degrees. That's going to go through there, something like that. We're going to have to cut them off about where? Just beyond my fingers. And it says to save the cutoff legs because we will need them later. Okay. Now you're not going to be able to hold that with your thumb. That's going to get real hot real fast. So let's see if I can grip that with some tweezers. That should work.
There we go. Now we got to bend the other one. Long leg positive, positive is going the same direction. And get our spot where we need to cut them off. Just be on my fingers. And we'll be doing the same thing. So I can spread these out a little bit better. Get, them, get the tweezers on there to hold it. Pad soldered in nicely. We'll come over here and grab the other one. Have to bend it back just a little bit. Get a grip on it. Good. Now I can nip these. Gonna make it look a little more neat here. Don't need that extra length on there. <laughs> Adjust that so the mummy's not cross-eyed. All right, next we have our switch, which is the only through-hole component that we really got. All right, let's see how we going to, how we going to hold that one in. All right, luckily it sits. If it sits, it fits. soldered in there and the final one pretty good all right that leaves us with the speaker and let's see what the instructions oh did I hit the camera again I'm sorry let's see what the instructions for the uh, speaker say all right so the instructions for the speaker say we're going to use our cutoff legs from the LED to solder onto the speaker pads there and then they are going to go through the holes in the board. So let's see if we can't make that work. Again, I'm going to tin everything first. Good. Then we'll get our legs here. one and two okay so those are the speaker holes in the board we have to bend the legs so that they fit through there be too hard. That was easy enough. I'm gonna add a little bit of a drop of flux on each of these pads here. soldered up clip off the excess leads and I think we're ready to find out if she works there she is looking all spooky press the button
was fun. That was a nice, easy little project. And like I said, I think this would make a great project as one of your first SMT or SMD uh, soldering projects. Figure maybe uh, if you're new at this, 45 minutes or so to complete it. If you've got some experience, you could probably do it 20 minutes or so. But that was fun. I want to thank you guys for watching. I want to thank Circuit Pop for sending this out. And uh, feel free to leave comments, like, and subscribe. That's it. I'm out. Peace.